Hey guys, Kel here, and in this video, I'm going to show to you how you can scrape for your own expired tumblers and use them for your SEO projects. Uh, first of all, why you sh why you need to use uh, expired tumblers? Tumblers are Tumblr.com is one of the most popular websites on the internet. As recently I checked, it's on number. 45 and it has a really good value uh, when it comes to search engine optimization even though the backlinks from tumblr are not anymore do follow their meta refresh links which means that they are not supposed to pass any link just back to your website but in fact that is the opposite and I'm going to show you also how you can get a real backlink not a meta refresh backlink from tumblr.com okay and let's get started the tools I'm going to use are the hreffer uh, that is the in my opinion uh, the best scraping tool made by botmasterlove.net which is a company uh, that makes uh, the X rumor. It's a Russian company and it's a very good company in my opinion um, Also, I'm going to use the keyword snatcher to scrape for uh, keywords um, Basically it's harvesting uh, keywords from Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ask, Amazon, whichever search engine you prefer and then you can use them to scrape uh, uh, expired tumblers then I'm going to use um, GSA proxy scraper and I'm going to use only SOC, SOC proxies SOX4, SOX5 um, if you want to scrape only for SOX proxies the simple uh, thing is in the settings filter options and you just select SOX4 SOX 4 and SOX 5 and that's it and you're going to get only SOC uh, proxies and uh, last but not least uh, scrape box and we're going to use the uh, alive checker add-on to see if the found uh, tumblers are actually available for use okay so now let's get started let's create for some Keywords, let's say you're trying to push some uh, JVZU offer and it's something about making money online or Clickbank product, whatever is the product, the niche, you just put your keyword. Uh, you can select uh, this option as well, add to current keyword list if, if, if you want to scrape for more, uh, more than one uh, niche and also perform deep search which i'm not going to use at the moment uh, for the sake of this video to speed up the process and i'm going to hit the snatch keywords button and you see it's uh, going to google yahoo and bing and collecting all these um, uh, keywords I'm gonna pause this video uh, until the scrape is uh, finished. Okay, we're back. Uh, 524 keywords. Uh, if I take the perform deep search uh, option, probably it would have found uh, a few thousand uh, keywords, but that is not necessary at the moment. We click the copy keywords to clipboard, select yes. And I'm opening my notepad and clicking right here and I'm going to save the keywords to my hrefer words folder close this Restart the hreffer, I think, if they're not... Okay, I'm going to restart the hreffer. Okay. 
now I'm going to refresh my sock uh, proxies list and I'm going to uh, select uh, make money now here one very important thing is the filter the filter is going to be called tumblr and uh, let me show you what this tumblr filter looks like uh, we go into the href or templates folder and it, you you won't have it of course you just create two random uh, files one called called tumblr.txt and the other one is called tumblr adwords uh, txt and the first one has it's empty nothing is in it and the second one has just side tumblr this is your footprint this is the one that is going to be used to harvest to scrape the links and also in the hrefer where i'm going to collect the uh, the script tumblers i'm going to name that file um, make money tumblers and i'm going to save it and i'm going to click the clean button to make sure there are no links in that uh, uh, file uh, search engines here select your search engines I do not select the index the index is very hard to scrape Bing is very hard to scrape uh, you get lots of pop-ups for captcha uh, search engine stats here you see everything is zero uh, and I'm going to hit the start parsing uh, start scraping button and you see uh, href4 is collecting uh, tumblers now if we go to the if you click the save button everything is going to be saved in that links folder make money tumblr and you see here all of the tumblers that uh, href are found now uh, i do suggest to perform uh, the search a few times because each time you're going to collect more and more expired tumblers also one important thing is your parsing options uh, you can select this convert all links to index uh, disable fil filtering harvested links filter use words plus additive words or you can use it the other way around i found words plus additive words additive words is basically your footprint which is site uh, columns uh, tumblr.com and your words are the uh, keywords we use for harvesting the money make money online keywords any language uh, I'm sorry also new query for each search engine enable filtering of duplicate links by hostname enabling filtering duplicate links on loading links database you just filter this is the important filter uh, duplicate filter method is used by entire URL if you select host of obviously we have the same host which is tumblr.com and you're gonna end up with just one link so you will select this one and you click select and uh, save and close uh, parser max streets counts uh, we have it uh, currently selected to 200 I can make it 500 too if I want uh, here HRF is telling me that it, uh, it's reached uh, the last uh, keyword and is asking me if it should start from the beginning I say yes and I click again the button and you see so far we have almost 10,000 tumblers uh, which I believe I'm going to stop it in a, in a minute so to continue with uh, this video I select no save and now we have all of our tumblers, expired tumblers harvested 
now we're going to import them to scrape box um, Thanks. and we select uh, trim to root remove duplicate URLs um, and we have now 6600 uh, expired tumblers now let's see how many of these are going to be available for purchase uh, not purchasing of course for registering with them tumblr.com um, we're going to use the scrapebox alive checker plugin and here is the setup you click the setup button and here you put 200 this is the response code that uh, means uh, the the tumblr is not registered it's not alive so it's going to be uh, free for registration which is not completely true but in most cases it, I find it to be true threats uh, it depends on how many proxies you have I have 20 um, private proxies and I put 10 threads and I click OK load from Scrapebox Harvester and we click the start button now I'm going to pause this video until the alive checker is done okay now script box life checker finished uh, checking the tumblers and now i'm going to export the not alive records to file and let's see okay, okay. oops not this one And here are the not alive tumblers, which are about almost 300 297 tumblers. And now I'm going to put them in Majestic. And I'm going to see how many of these are actually having any trustful. some of that message okay I'm just um, probably don't copy the right yeah sorry about that folks uh, make money this is the right one yeah okay check and let's see how many of them actually have any trust flow so far nothing to be so excited about here but you never know see this one has trust flow of 8 trust flow of 9 let me export these guys and see and sort them out and see how many of them are good for registration okay mm -hmm. we do not care about any of these we don't care about the rest of it as well okay we see we have trust flow up oh, citation flow not a trust flow okay so the biggest one we have is trust flow of 10 which 
this one I doubt that is good for registration but let's let's see so what you need to do is to go to your tumblr account login into your tumblr account click the little I don't know what it's oh gosh you click right here this is the guy button you click new tumblr and you put your um, new tumblr here you click here and if you're lucky let's see food 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 verification and click create block mm, someone already registered that see it's not always it's accurate because some people register the tumblr and there is nothing to show they don't put anything on it and when you scrape them you just find it as a nothing on that page nothing available and but actually it's already registered okay this one worked so we got ourselves a trust flow of nine which is not bad at all um, now let me show you how you can get a genuine backlink from tumblr that is not a meta refresh okay so here we go to our newly created tumblr and you hit the edit team button and what I do is title, I put my main keyword in title. Let's say to company. And right here in the description, you're allowed to put HTML code. So you can put this is uh, this is my SEO company. block or whatever you like and here you put close. domain dot com and you click save and you click exit and Now when you hover with your mouse, you see uh, that this is actually a backlink, a genuine not a meta refresh backlink. Uh, for those of you who do not know what is a meta refresh, I'm going to show it to you right now. Mm. Okay. So let's get some Laura Mipsum text and we create a new article and we name this test article and we paste our text right here and let's say we want to anchor text this keyword and we click that and we put domain.com for example and we hit post and when you go to your tumblr here is the article and you see uh, in the bottom screen of my browser uh, the redirect uh, from tumblr uh, some people say this is bad it's not passing link juice and he has no SEO value I found I find this to be not true and I use tumblers for ages and I say nothing nothing has changed that much uh, since uh, the introduction of meta refresh links in tumblr posts that I won't use them anymore in fact it's the opposite I still use them 
if you want to get a backlink a jam backlink you get it right from here and um, you can create your own private block network with uh, tumblers uh, the the only downside is that uh, tumbler can take down your uh, uh, tumbler block at any time uh, but if you take a good care of it uh, make posts uh, in post articles and all of that nobody is going to touch your tumbler if you just registered as I just did and you just leave it like as I just did um, that is not going to do any good to you it's going to be deleted probably in some two months time uh, you never know maybe it can last forever but from my experience uh, I I don't I have tumblers still alive from two two and a half years and I I, I haven't even logged into them uh, Oh, okay, another great tool you can use is uh, Ranker X. Ranker X you can use to manage your private block network, Tumblr private block network. Uh, you can just put your accounts in it and put your uh, articles. You can use even Article Builder for that, and you can make posts to your Tumblrs, and you get your private block network up and running. Then you can build uh, GSA search engine ranker links to the tumblers. And what I do a lot is uh, putting safe links to the tumblers and get uh, even more links. Just uh, some people may ask uh, why you need to scrape uh, expired tumblers with uh, uh, trustful when you can just uh, register. Uh, uh, you can just register one tumbler and put safe links to it. Yes, you can do that. It's uh, absolutely right to do it. Um, uh, the thing with expired tumblers is that most of the time they're registered, so you can use them right away. With, uh, they're indexed, I'm sorry. They're indexed and you can use them right away. Let me see if this one is even indexed. See, this one is even indexed in Google and you can use it right away. That's it. You, you're ready to go and you should be seeing uh, improvements within three to five days maybe. Yes, if your articles are good, what I would suggest is to put uh, uh, genuine handwritten articles. If you cannot do that, of course, you can put some scraped articles and spawn content but uh, you probably do not not probably but 100 percent do not use spawn articles for your tier one link building if you do that use it for tier two or tier three but for tier one i would just go out and buy some four or five dollars articles which makes sense and and are like at least 70 percent unique they're not going to be 100 percent but 70 percent unique articles are good anything above is better and that's about it uh, under this video i'm going to uh, have a blog uh, link to linking to uh, to my website uh, if you want guys you can comment on the video or come come and check out my blog so you can learn uh, more about seo if you have any questions you can find me at any time at authoritylinkbuilding.com Bye now, guys.